What on earth does racism have to do with that excuse for a man torturing a defensive animal? It's such whataboutery. The idea that this story is being discussed differently in any way because Zuma is black is insane. If this were Jack Grealish torturing a cat, believe me, there would be the same amount of outrage. And uh, Dominic Samuels, I just, I just have a real concern that racism is being invoked here. I know he wasn't saying that we're being racist for talking about it, but he's yeah. trying to compare two completely different acts. It's like comparing the torture of a cat to a murder. Both things are terrible. Racism yeah. is football, in football is terrible. It must be stamped out. But so too torturing cats are yeah. terrible. And the two things have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, I find this comparison really bizarre. And the thing that people are trying to say is that the response is extremely disproportionate, partly because it's black and we don't treat racism in the same way. We're more concerned about a cat. But we're talking about someone being caught on camera, physically abusing, booting an animal. And he's admitted it. Slapping it in the face. There's footage of him doing it. And in front of a child as yeah. well. How is that comparable to racist name-calling? And I guess it depends on what kind of racism we're talking about. If it's racially motivated violence, then, of course, we could have that conversation. But to make this comparison is just completely unhelpful. I think you're completely missing the point, though, because what he's saying here is he's just saying, give it the same energy. If you're you going to get so appalled, rightly so, um, by the horrific video... We have been speaking about deserves, racism and football. Not oh, in the same yes. way. OK, so... Yes. Let's, since they've been so taking I think the he, knee. he alluded to, to in the video, um, Luis Suarez, he got um, fined £40,000 for, raci year, for racially what abusing year? another player. What year? You're going to have to look that one up for me, Dan. No, I'm making a point. It was something like 2014, 2013. What difference does that make? That's the last case he can come up with. And I'm sorry... But that's even worse! That shows that these things haven't been. It's just been. It's institutional. But the it's, no, it's so not. Do you not? What I'm saying, Amy, is that there's been a whole no, culture. It's not, it's been a culture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's hold on. Hold on. Let's hold on. Hold on. You got to first and foremost. You can't. You can't rank sin. You know. You can't put a cash value next to these things. But they are. Hold on. And secondly, they're completely separate. Yeah. You are in a nation of, 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 of pet lovers, first and foremost, in this country. And why people leap to the defence of pets is because they are defenceless. Mm. Now, of course, I have a vested interest in racism being stamped out across the piece. And I would still tell you they're two very separate things. And when someone tries to defend it, it looks like what about it, it, it looks I mean, like, it is what about it, it, yeah. and, and, and that's the point that was missed. That, that player is right. Racism often isn't dealt with with enough vigour, particularly in football, but it is separate exactly. to this. Hold on, but people are not talking about race because that's not an issue in this case. The case here is mm. he viciously attacked a defenceless animal, and a that's what people.